Uh, I'd say just get it and do it. And experiment with it. See what the tools do. Once you learn what the tools do, then you have it there. Mm -hmm. you, know, so. you are listening to Nectar Mike. You are listening to Vector Maestros, Episode 2. This is DTN with VectorMaestros.com and a great interview featuring Ron Smith. A Vector Maestro is someone who can draw vector lines, manipulate anchors, create paths, and export a clean, crispy illustration, scalable to any size required. The Vector Maestros podcasts are companions to the VectorMaestros.com website, where you will find links to Vector Illustration, resources, tutorials spread all over the internet, including our dedicated YouTube channel, Flipboard Magazine, blog, and monthly email tips and tricks. Our goal is to allow anyone to explore their creativity and master the pen tool. We are proudly supported by Microsoft Surface, Mike Atlanta, ArtistKing.org, and AzaleaCreativeGroup.com. In this Vector Maestros podcast, we bring you the insight and advice from another great illustrator, Ron Smith of Smith Creative, the word creative without the E at the end. Find Ron's art online on social media like Instagram and more under Smith Creative. Now on to our Vector Maestros podcast. Hi, my name is Ron Smith and I'm from Snellville. Snellville, Georgia. Yeah. Lived there your whole life? No. No? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What type of art did you uh, start doing? What type of art did you do growing up? Uh, stuff out of comic books, like probably 90% of artists nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and my dad was a sign painter, so I kind of kind of got some of it from him. That's right. Yeah. That's that's for you. So it's in the blood for you. Yeah, yeah. And growing yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Played with paint materials and Yeah, stuff. one shot. That type of thing, projectors. Stuff okay, like that. wow. So, the kind of comic books, which ones? Do you remember? Uh, Do you have a specific one? Spider Man, uh, X Men. Do you still have a comic book character you like the most? Uh, not really. Not no. really. Um, I mean, Wolverine, definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was a favorite yeah. of people for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, what are those? Who are the artists and that type of art that inspires you, besides comic books, or who, are, or maybe even comic book artists? Um, yeah. the uh, Caravaggio is good. Uh, good example of stuff that I like as far as a uh, figurative. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, use of atmosphere stuff like that. Um, Zorn is pretty cool because of his uh, limited palette. Okay. Um, Might have to look those up. Yeah, yeah. But are they realists or? Yeah, uh, Zorn is a realist and Caravaggio is a realist. He did a oils. lot of. Oh uh, yeah, Caravaggio is oils. Uh, Zorn was watercolor for a while and then went to oils. Mm -hmm. um, John Sargent, I like him. Okay. And uh, his his stuff is realist, but uh, his execution and uh, brush handling is what. <clears throat> Primarily stand out, mm -hmm. and uh, eh, can't really think anymore. But, okay, well that's yeah, good. That's, that's a good <laughs> list. That's a good list. So, um, how did you develop your art style? And do you, and do you remember when you recognized that you had an art style? Uh, I guess I never really recognized a, a style per se, but. Um, once I start wanting to do it every day, that's mm -hmm. that's when I recognize that I need to keep doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you were that was an early age, or yeah, yeah, I, I think I was probably about twelve mm -hmm. when I realized, like, yeah, I could do this the rest of my life and uh -huh. not be mad. And, and that's work. that's <laughs> that's real cool that you yeah. are that young and and don't have your own resources, but the right. materials are there; right. they're in the house already. Right, right, yeah. So. Uh, I mean, there's times when my dad would be working on the sign or something, and he'd stop and put the projector on the wall and, mm -hmm. you know, throw something else in there and throw something on the wall. You know, like uh, I remember this big tiger he put on the wall at one time. That was pretty cool to me. Mm -hmm. He painted it, so it was uh, 
you know, a little uh, bonding experience. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about Illustrator. Now we're going into the Illustrator part of you. And uh, do you remember when you first heard about it? Yeah, I'd been uh, working at a screen printing joint, um, cleaning screens. And uh, one of the pre-press guys knew that I would draw, you know, draw stuff, and I would get him to scan it for me mm-hmm. and run it through Streamline back in the day. Okay. I heard and somebody else didn't mention that word. Streamline? No. Oh, Golden. Golden. Yeah, yeah, I did an interview with Golden. He mentioned Streamline, Streamline. That's I didn't want to correct him because I thought he was wrong, yeah, but I just no. left it alone. What, what is that? It's Okay, you know how you have uh, in Illustrator now, they have the, uh, what is it, Image Trace? Mm-hmm. It's a. It was a standalone software that did the image trace for you. Oh. Okay. And made it. Um, made everything vector based from a bitmap huh. image, but it was it was real quirky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but if you had like nice clean lines, you know, I would do. I would basically pencil stuff out and then ink it, and then take it to streamline. If you got real clean lines, it'll just turn everything to uh, strokes and fills. Mm-hmm. So it'll be. A big background of black with white, mm-hmm. everything else white on a layer on top. So I would take that and, you know, chop it up and mm-hmm. clean it up in Illustrator a little bit, you know, putting stuff on top of it, really, because I didn't know what I was doing. And, uh, yeah, that dude, uh, Ty Rose, man, it kind of brought me in and was like, yeah, man, you need to learn how to use this Illustrator, man. Yeah, you'll be bad. I was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm, <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. Learn how to use it, man. Then look back. Because, uh, you know, I started out working in the, uh, just doing screen printing and watching him do pre-press mm-hmm. and set halftone patterns and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I got like a working uh, view of Illustrator mm-hmm. from like, the production. Like, what do you do with the, the files? Side. Why? Wh- right. Why are you uh-huh. saving in this file for me? Uh-huh. What is the dot frequency that you uh-huh. need to produce a proper halftone, uh-huh. you know, that type of thing. And so then you, you took that knowledge into Illustrator and saying, well, if I want a result to be such, then I need to right. add this unto it and right. put that into right. it. Right, right, right. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, how do I make it do this? Right. It, that's that's what the question I would always ask because, I, you know, I kind of just went, got a computer and got the books. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. before the internet was even popping. Right. And um, basically just... Stayed up all night. It's like, okay, I want to make it do this, this, and this. How do mm-hmm. I do it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those early days, there weren't there weren't websites. There yeah. weren't uh, not for me anyway. Yeah. I don't know when yeah, when was but, this for you? Do you remember? This that would have been like ninety eight. Oh snap! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been like ninety eight. Beat me by a few years. Yeah, so. a couple problems. <laughs> How was that learning curve? I know that it, because of the re- it's not the same. To, Resources that we have today. Yeah. Uh, so, so, did you have people to talk to and ask, or not really? No, not the end. Uh huh. Uh uh-uh. No, no. It was books and help menu. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> the help menu used to have a lot of stuff. I don't even know if it's still there, but yeah, stuff. it's there, but it's connected to the internet. So. Nah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, help menu, the books, mm-hmm. and the the desire to learn how to make it work. You know, I'll be watching a commercial or something, and, you know, once I start messing with Photoshop, messing with Illustrator, messing with uh, After Effects, stuff mm-hmm. like that, I'm like, oh, okay, I can't even watch a commercial without being like, oh, yeah, I know how they did, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Ooh, oh, man, that's slick. Uh-huh, <laughs> you know, uh-huh. like, uh, you know, just kind of analyzing stuff from the from the production standpoint now is like an all-day thing now. So. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so what was the hardest tool to learn in Illustrator for you? Oh, uh, was there anything hard or was it all easy? Pen tool was was about the hardest, but once you get that pen tool, it's the mm-hmm. key to that and Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the pen tool, uh, just the way it works. But then when I go into other software, like at work, I have to use uh, Corel Draw. Okay. Because of the scaling, um, Illustrator only gives you like a like a twenty foot by twenty foot um, size to work with. So that's the max that that's you can That's the max, yeah. Right. And, and it doesn't have any scaling ratios. Like, Corel Draw is like a standard in the sign industry that I'm mm-hmm. finding out because of their scaling abilities. Like, you can scale something uh, 1 to 20, or you can scale, you know, architectural, or you can scale it 
um, you know, one foot equals mm -hmm. a quarter inch. Or right. Something like that. Well, I thought you could do that in Illustrator. You can. But 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 then you're you got to do the math. Oh, uh, so you're printing straight from the program though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta uh -huh. you gotta do the math in Illustrator. It ain't it uh -huh. ain't it's all one to one. Huh. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, they, they got us using Corel Draw, which is cool because you can take, uh, you know, I, a lot of times I find myself still using Illustrator and just, just to come up with some cool shapes mm -hmm. and then export them as EPS and open them up in Corel and do them with thing. Because you got to have those real world dimensions. Yeah, yeah, that you yeah. you can't really do in Illustrator. But still, Illustrator is cool for what it's made for, uh, you know, like production art and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so what's your creative process like when you're creating, uh, an illustrator? Do you start with a sketch? Do you start with a drawing? Do you start with an idea and get right into drawing or illustrator or Corel draw? Just uh, do you get right into the digital? Do you even sketch a digital version? Uh, it depends on what, what I'm doing it for. Um, mm -hmm. but a lot of times I'll, I'll draw something out first mm -hmm. and scan it in and mm -hmm. just trace over it. That's what a lot of people do. Um, then every once in a while, you know, depending on the idea um, and what I need to uh, incorporate, I just make something on the fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and embellish once you're in the software. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. But uh, you know, drawing—I mean, drawing stuff and and tracing over it is is the basic way everybody does it. Mm -hmm. um, even if you you know draw it on the computer. Yeah, trace over. You're still doing the same thing. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. You know, but some people like to keep it light like that, where they go go straight on the computer. My, oh, as far as file size. Yeah, or or just because of the process, you know, their workflow. Yeah, they yeah. don't they don't yeah. need a sketch. They yeah. can just start drawing. You start rocking it. Yeah, yeah. man, that's yeah. that's insane. Yeah. Okay, I um. So, what kind of equipment do you use and why? Mac PC or? Oh, uh, I use Mac. Uh huh. And I just like the operating system. And the way it, it it flows a lot better than PC because I use PC at work uh -huh. for with Corel Draw and all that, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> Is that um? But they don't have Windows Ten, or they already have. I Windows mean, 10 it, well, you don't like it. I mean, with the PC, it doesn't even really matter. The mm -hmm. operating system is just not nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is I, I just don't like it, and I guess it's from using the Mac so long. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I've been using Mac. Since probably like 98, 2000. That's it, huh? So, yeah. And uh, just the way the operating system works is, is just totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spend the big bucks to yeah. get that Mac. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, got to do it, man. One year, I had enough money to buy me a Mac. And then... Uh, one year, I had enough money to buy me a Mac, uh, MacBook. And I told my wife, I'd rather spend it on two PCs. She mm -hmm. said, okay. So I bought two laptops. Mm -hmm. Two PC laptops mm -hmm. for the price of what I would have spent right. on one MacBook. You know? And they're dead now. Well, you know, yeah, they've been long gone. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, I think uh, Macs do last a whole lot longer. Oh, yeah. My yeah. wife bought like three PCs in the time that my last uh, MacBook Pro, mm -hmm. and it still ain't dead. I think I got too many fonts on there, and I don't have any font management. I didn't put like suitcase or anything on it. Mm -hmm. I think I got about about twelve thousand fonts. Dang it! And uh, I mean, like good type foundry, bit stream, mm -hmm. you know, good fonts, not mm -hmm. you know a thousand and one the right. font, so, right, right. you know, and. Uh, I think it's I think it's drowning in my. You can't my you can't uh, just copy them out of the font folder. They won't they won't work like that. No, um, I I think I'm gonna end up just uh, dumbing them down. Bring it bring a lot it here. Off. Bring it bring the yeah, laptop out here. We'll we'll, we'll siphon some of those fonts out of there. All right. Yeah, I got a I got a million fonts. Yeah, man. external drive, baby. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> sure. So um. What kind of advice do you have for? Oh well, let me ask you. Um, besides Corel Draw, do you know of any other soft vector software that you like and use? Um, like Inkscape. Have you tried Inkscape or? I haven't. I haven't mm -hmm. tried anything else but Illustrator. Um, mm -hmm. I, well, I kind of learn stuff if I need to. Mm -hmm. You know, like AutoCAD or anything like that. Uh, Cinema 4D. You know, I learn stuff as I as I need to learn it, not mm -hmm. um, 
I don't really do too much searching around because, you know, Illustrator has been holding me down for almost 20 years. You yeah, know? So, yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty big staple in my little arsenal. Yeah. What version of Illustrator do you have now? Uh, I'm on CC. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm on Creative Cloud. So, so. You, you get the latest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Okay. Yeah. Resources or links that you prefer for vector stuff, like uh, blogs or tutorials. Do you have any? Do you ever look up anymore? Um, stuff? Not for, yeah. I, I mean, sometimes if some, if some new software comes out, like Muse or something like that, mm -hmm. then I look up some stuff. But I, I haven't really done too much of that in a while. Yeah, you don't try to keep up with what other people are doing. I mean, you can do that with blogs. I, I check out some, some stuff on Google Plus and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but... Um, there used to be a, a site that I used to be a member of, Renderosity. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started messing around doing uh, graphic design, uh, it was probably about 2003 when I got an actual job, mm -hmm. you know. Doing illustration. Right, right. Uh -huh. And uh, pre-press and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, Renderosity uh, was basically a bunch of artists that uh, around the world... Uh, post up their art for everybody to look at and basically vote on who's the best. Uh -huh. And uh, they had a number of categories, 2D, 2D vector, um, using a poser. You remember poser? Mm -hmm. Yes. Using poser and making it look like an actual photo, that type of thing. Uh -huh. So that, that kind of helped me a lot because of the competition and seeing what other people could do. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, let me show. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. how do I do that? All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. And, and that's it. That's the, yeah. that's that's inspiration is the thing. You yeah. gotta, like... Keep and Behance thing. is cool, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Behance is cool, too. Nice, okay. Yeah. You gotta, you got your Behance up to date. Yeah, Pfft, it ain't up to date. Oh, you gotta <laughs> be. You know I mean? You gotta yeah. be real oh, soon, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I've been pretty much focusing on um, Instagram. Uh-huh. For like all of my stuff, because it's like a running archive of right. you know all my artworks. So mm -hmm. I, I hadn't really been, I hadn't focused on my website or anything. I just been posting to Instagram almost every day. Mm -hmm. So probably sometimes for several probably times like a in ten minutes. Years. Yeah, yeah, not really. Yeah, I seen some posts every like, once in a while. It depends on if I'm uh, at the house. If I'm at the house, that's one thing. I I might not post uh -huh. uh, a bunch of times, but if I'm out somewhere mm -hmm. and doing. Doing something out in the community. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of art do you create for your personal satisfaction in Illustrator? Uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, I do a lot of logos. I think in the past, uh, in the past about three or four years, uh, counting the job that I used to work, I think I did about 3,000 logos. What? Yes. Oh, because... The customers, and then y'all get yeah. through your job, huh? Yeah. Dang. So, I, yeah, man, I was turning them out like a machine. <laughs> how long? How long do you have to to for to create a logo? Oh, it's got, it'll have to be hours or day. It'd be days, hours, uh -huh. considering that I'd have to do like five a day. Uh huh. Dang. So, yeah, five a day was like the minimum. So you're rich. Oh, no, take it. <laughs> 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 So you need to be rich then. I know, man. Um, uh, so for your personal art, though, what do you do in Illustrator? What do you do for yourself? Do you do you still play when you get on Illustrator, or is it? I do. Because I do. Um, I do a lot of like architectural or uh, mechanical stuff mm -hmm. now in Illustrator more so than uh, you know trying to make it look organic like I have done in the past. Mm -hmm. Learning to use Illustrator, mm -hmm. you know, I have. Having a nice smooth roundness to mm -hmm. to stuff that that is not uh, something that Illustrator makes round and makes clean mm -hmm. smooth like Photoshop, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, trying to do things uh, that Photoshop does in Illustrator. That's that was kind of the thing I used to get into with the blurs and mm -hmm. that type of thing. So now it's more more uh, architectural and um, engineering. Type of things gotcha. that I'm getting into. Okay, nice, nice. So uh, the last question is going to be about advice for up and coming artists and illustrators. But the next to last question is your social links. Where can we find you online? 
Uh, mostly Instagram is at Smith Creative, uh, C R E A T I V. There's no E on the end of. Okay. Yeah. And um, same with Facebook, Smith Creative. Um, what else do I got out there? I got a Flickr page now. Um, and same thing, Smith Creative. <laughs> mm-hmm. So everything Smith Creative. Yeah, if you and if you type it in Google, uh, you know, without the E one word, mm-hmm. it'll come up. Very nice. So, what kind of advice do you give uh, up and coming artists or people who want to try out and show you get good at it? Uh, I'd say just get it and do it and experiment with it. See what the tools do. Once you learn what the tools do, then you have it. Mm-hmm. You know, so just keep at it and uh, just learn to use the tools. Go, go through them one by one. You know, when you run your mouse over, it'll tell you what it is. So, do what it does. You can always command Z. <laughs> you, know, you can always undo or not save or something, so go for it. This was your Vector Maestro's podcast. Tune in to YouTube for free tutorials and tips on Adobe Illustrator. Follow us on Facebook and check out the Vector Maestro's online course to master the pen tool at VectorMaestros.com. Until next time, this is DTM at VectorMaestros.com.